Good morning, child of God. Time for us to crack open the Holy Word of God, the sacred scriptures. So important, we do it every day here on Seize the Day. We read the readings from the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass and share some thoughts on the readings. I also, for my website, write a little 60-second reflection each and every day. And today it is taken from our gospel reading. It's called The Faithful and Prudent Servant. So let's get to it. For our first reading, we are back in St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians. Today, chapter 3, verses 7 through 13, where St. Paul writes, We have been reassured about you, brothers and sisters, in our every distress and affliction through your faith. For we now live if you stand firm in the Lord. What thanksgiving then can we render to God for you, for all the joy we feel on your account before our God? Night and day we pray beyond measure to see you in person and to remedy the deficiencies of your faith. Now may God himself, our Father, and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you, and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we have for you, so as to strengthen your hearts, to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his holy ones. Amen. The word of the Lord from 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, our first reading in today's Mass. Well, St. Paul, throughout his letters, always shared these prayers that he had with the people to whom he was writing, in this case, the people of Thessalonica. And today we hear this beautiful prayer that they would be, that uh, St. Paul and his companions would be able to come and remedy the deficiencies of their faith and talking about how if you stand firm in the Lord, we live if we stand firm in the Lord. So St. Paul had this great desire to always return to the people and teach them, teach them the true faith. I think that's what he's called when he, uh, what he refers to when he talks about the deficiencies of their faith. Today's responsorial taken from Psalm 90, and the response is, Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long have pity on your servants. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours, Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. And the response again, Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. From Psalm 90, the responsorial in today's Mass. And our Gospel passage today is from Matthew 24, verses 42 through 51. Before we start, you might think that we are beginning the season of Advent. And actually, this is one of the readings that we'll hear during the season of Advent. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know the on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant? whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is long delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord from Matthew chapter 24, our Gospel reading in today's Mass. Stay awake! That's probably the best advice that Jesus could give us, right? Stay awake. You know, it got me to thinking about, of course, Ever since the beginning of Christianity, since the Lord Jesus died, rose from the dead, and ascended into heaven, the people have been thinking that his return is imminent. And in biblical times and St. Paul's times, of course, the people thought, it's any day now. The Lord is coming back any day now. You know, I look back and think, now here we are about 2,000 years later. And it could be very easy for us to take on this attitude of the wicked servant in Jesus' story today. 
The one that says, ah, you know, he's been gone for a long time, so I got to figure he's probably not coming back. And so we begin to lead a life of debauchery. You know, it's important that we always be about the business of the Lord. I think this is what he's talking about when he talks about the faithful and prudent servant, the one who is always about the business of the Lord. The business of the Lord, of course, is building up the kingdom, building the kingdom of God. So there are many different ways that we can do this, but the key thing is that we do this, that we always be about the building up of the kingdom of God. There's going to be plenty of time for rest, right, in eternity. And that's why in the here and now, we have to be all about staying awake and building up the kingdom. Amen. Let's start our day with a prayer, shall we? Father, we love you. We thank you for your word in our heart and pray that you will help us to stay awake, to keep us always diligent, to always be about the master's business. For that is our call. May we build up the kingdom of heaven today and every day. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, in whose mighty name we pray, amen and amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you get something out of these little reflections every day. And if you do, please subscribe and share it with your friends. All right, till next time, peace and good to you and yours.